Loads of people chew gum, but did you know that lots of popular brands of chewing gum contain plastic? The same kind of plastic found in car tyres or carrier bags. Otherwise known as man-made polymers, the plastic gives chewing gum its elastic property and it is legally allowed to be used. But according to research from Queen's University Belfast, a single piece of plastic-based chewing gum can release more than 250,000 microplastics into a person's saliva in just one hour. We got in touch with the International Chewing Gum Association to see what they make of these findings and they said, All ingredients in chewing gum base must be food grade and meet rigorous safety standards. They do not dissolve when chewed and are not absorbed even if swallowed. The study did not measure micro or nanoplastics released from chewing gum in a scientifically validated way. The study may inform future research, but it does not provide grounds for firm conclusions. It's not known what the long-term health impacts of microplastics might be, but lots of people are worried about them. A new campaign supported by the youth movement, Kids Against Plastic, is calling for chewing gum companies to clearly label their gum so that customers know whether they contain plastic. And ultimately, they want to see a ban of plastic-based gum in the UK. We got hold of Amy Meek from Kids Against Plastic to tell us more. Most of the traditional gum that you'll see on the supermarket shelves is actually plastic-based. It's just not currently made very clear to consumers and isn't clearly labelled on the packets. Now, there are plant-based gum alternatives out there, and these are also biodegradable and over time will hopefully help to reduce the amount of plastic gum litter that we're seeing on pavements. But I think everyone's pretty aware now of the fact that plastic in our environment isn't really a good thing. It persists for a long time and it can pollute the places that we live in, and so obviously the less plastic we're producing, the better. Plastic production is still set to increase in coming years, despite the health, environmental and climate risks associated with plastic production and consumption. World leaders need to take better responsibility for this problem. Well, we got in touch with the UK government's Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs to ask for a response to the campaign, and they said, There are no plans to ban any forms of chewing gum. The Food Standards Agency's independent scientific advisors are considering microplastics in food at present, and based on their findings or new evidence, the agency will consider its next steps. We encourage all food businesses to look at the steps they can take to reduce the environmental impact of their products. 